labor and eat. I feel like blowing my home. Well, I woke up this morning. All I had was gone, you know, late in the evening. I feel like blowing my nose now. Well, I woke up this morning. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a hi-fi stereo slash audio slash speaker review, or I'm gonna talk to you basically about a pair of my favorite speakers under, I would say under 10 grand. And they come in, I paid 2,600 for them. Uh, let's take a look at the Dyn Audio Special 40 speakers. So I bought these speakers, what, a year ago? I wrote a review over at stevehuffphoto.com at that time. The review's been there for a while. You could Google it, uh, or you can just go to the site under Hi-Fi Reviews, and you will find a slew of audio reviews there because one of my other passions in life, besides photography, is stereo, audio, hi-fi, two-channel listening. Home theater's cool, I love home theater. I have a little setup out front in the living room for that, nothing major, but my love, my passion for music uh, has always led me to have a two-channel, high-quality playback system. But when I say high-quality, I don't necessarily mean spending obscene amounts of money on audio gear, though I have went down that road in the past, and I am happy to say I'm kind of out of that road because I have learned that the more you spend in hi-fi does not always mean better sound and whether you're spending $10,000, $20,000 on just an integrated amplifier or whether you're spending $1,000, $5,000 or yes, even $20,000 on speaker cables and interconnects, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get better sound. Um, I have heard amazing sound from systems that cost less than $2,000. And I've heard magical, breathtaking sound. Let's say, for example, this system right behind me, the Dyn Audio Special 40. I'm running them with an Octave V40 SC tube amplifier that's made in Germany, but I bought a store demo of the amp uh, and saved quite a bit of money. So the system I have behind me uh, sounds quite special, quite amazing, and has some of that magic that I love. While it's not my favorite system of all time that I've assembled and put together, it's one of the most enjoying systems I've put together. And what I mean by that is the enjoyment I get from listening to the music. These days in audiophile land, and I used to call myself an audiophile, uh, today I just say I'm a lover of music. I love music, two-channel music. And I love bookshelf-style speakers. I've had many floor standers. For me, my room is not the right size for a floor standing speaker, so I never had a good experience or a great experience with a floor standing speaker. If I had a big room, I would have floor standers, but my room right here is 12 by 13, and this has been my listening room for the past 10 years. I've had a few systems in and out of here. I've had some fancy speakers from Sonus Faber, Focal. Um, oh man, uh, there's so many. Wilson Banesh. I've had so many speakers in here, Falcon Acoustics, uh, whether I was reviewing them or I bought and owned them or I was just trying them out. My local hi-fi shop here in Phoenix, Arizona is Arizona Hi-Fi, and that is a killer shop to go. Uh, they have some great tube uh, products, turntables, speakers. Uh, it's a small shop, but it's very, very fun to visit. Now, I haven't been in there in a while because when I go in there, I tend to spend money, so I've been having to stay away uh, because I'll be tempted. But I will say that I recently stopped into Dedicated Audio in Scottsdale, Arizona, another local shop that I love, uh, and I picked up a pair of Dyn Audio Special 40 in gray. A year ago when I bought these, I had the red, and I loved them and loved them, but then I came across an opportunity to buy some speakers that I thought I would love so much more, and I sold the Dyn Audios and, and bought those, and I kind of missed the Special 40s. So time went on, and I downgraded back to the Special 40s, but what I got in return was really an upgrade, because these speakers are the most powerful, 
well-balanced, um, great-sounding speakers that I've heard in a bookshelf for under $10,000. These are the only bookshelf speakers I've ever had in here that have this tremendous bass weight to them where you can actually feel the bass from your listening chair, but at the same time, that bass doesn't muddy up the highs. The problem with bookshelf speakers a lot of times is if you get a lot of bass, your highs are usually muddled or obscured by that bass or that mid-bass warmth. We call that warm speakers when you have that fat mid-bass usually, and it, it gives you that pleasing sound, that visceral feeling. But for those who really like detail in their sound, it's kind of like photographs. Some people like detailed high megapixel cameras. Some people love detailed high resolution speakers. And I've had speakers in here like that, but I'm more of a fan of a balanced type of speaker where I'm getting uh, lows, mids, and highs that all balance out and form a cohesive sound, right? Uh, where this gets you a big wide sound stage, right? Um, precise imaging where you hear the instruments in space floating in front of you um, while they're played. That's, that's the attributes of a really good magical system when the sound stage or soundscape is so wide you see the singer in the middle, you can envision them, you hear the sax player to the left, you hear the guitarist to the right, the drummer's in the back. This is what it sounds like in a well set up system. And these Dynaudio Special 40s excel at all of these things. But the most important thing is the room. So how these sound in my room is not how they're gonna sound in your room because the room makes the biggest difference in a sound system. And my first five, six years of hi-fi, I've been doing this 25 years, I didn't really understand the whole room thing. I thought you could just buy a pair of speakers, buy an amp, put them in a room and jam out. And that can sound good to some people if you're just listening for background music or to have music jamming and rocking out, that's fine. But if you want a magical experience with speakers, uh, they have to be set up correctly. The room has to be set up correctly. You have to have the right amplification, the right cables. Everything has to create a perfect storm. But getting back to these Dynaudio Special 40s, they are the 40th anniversary speaker from Dynaudio. They came out a year or two ago. Uh, they're still available on the market. These Special 40s are called special for a reason, and that's because they are indeed very special, especially for the price that you can get them for. Now, I said I'm running them with an Octave V40 SE. That's only a 40 watt per channel tube amp, and it powers them with authority, with an ease, with a flow, that you would never imagine 40 watts powering a Dynaudio speaker in this way because these are something like 86 dB efficient. Uh, you would think that would be hard to drive, but these speakers like current more so than watts. So if you have a high current amp like this Octave, it will partner with them beautifully. Um, I've also ran these with a Luxman 590AX2, and oh, that was a step up from the Octave. It was a beautiful experience. Uh, another amp that I sold and regret. Audio works a lot in the same ways as cameras. Uh, a lot of us used to buy and sell cameras. We'd want to upgrade, right? Audio files chase the perfect sound. You may think you have the perfect sound and then one day you're like, I want a little more detail. I want a little more air. And so you start researching on sites like audiogon.com or, or you start reading reviews and you're like, ooh, I want to upgrade. Then you upgrade and a lot of times at least for me, I miss what I had prior because it was so good. And chasing that upgrade uh, path, trying to find an upgrade path um, when you already have a good system or thinking you need an upgrade path is a dangerous thing because it can blow through a lot of your money. Um, I do regret a lot of my audio purchases and I have vowed over the last year or two to keep it simple. Um, I had put out a little system in my living room a PS Audio Sprout 100 for 600 bucks, along with some Klipsch RPM 600 speakers. They were like 550. So for under $1,500, you can set up a little system that sounds amazing uh, once you add cables and stuff to the mix. What I have here behind me uh, comes out to around maybe $8,000, but it has the magic to it, right? These Dyna Audio speakers have a way of presenting music that has really deep, strong bass. It's never sloppy. It's never bloated. It's tight. It's fast, but it's present. It's there in the room with you. Again, once they're set up correctly, 
The mids are gorgeous. They're full-throated, and the human voice sounds so real and so visceral and so in the room with you. Where does that leave the highs? The highs on the Special 40 are in no way strident, bright, crisp, or anything like that. They're very natural. They will never fatigue you. In fact, some of you may wish for a little more, a little more snap at the top end. But what makes these Special 40 so beautiful is not only their looks and design in this high gloss finish, I'm gonna to try to relate to you a little bit uh, what happens when I turn on this system. So I sit in my sweet spot that I have set up. I measured where the speaker should go precisely. I set up, up for this room. This room is well damped. It has carpeting, it has things on the wall, um, it has furniture, uh, pillows. So that's going to absorb um, a lot of the sound. It's going to keep uh, the ringing away, it's going to keep uh, the sound from being flat or sterile or harsh. Uh, the only problem I ever had in this room was with bass or too much bass, um, but that can be cured by speaker positioning, which I have. So say I sit down and I cue up uh, a beautiful song or something, and it doesn't have to be an audiophile song. This system plays all music and it sounds great. Bad 80s recording sounds great because the Special 40s are not taking those already thin recordings and making them sound thinner. They're adding a little juice to the song and they sound wonderful. These days, I don't want pure accuracy. I want accuracy in my speakers. I want pleasing results as long as it has that soundstage imaging and all of that good stuff that I like so much when I listen to music. When you're listening to a good song, it can take you to another world. You can close your eyes and feel like that artist is in the room with you. So when I sit down here and I turn on a, a song, the vocals are always dead center, a few feet out in front of the speakers. You would swear, and I had a friend say, do you have a center channel speaker hidden somewhere because that voice is dead center. It's not coming from the side speakers. I said, it is coming from those two speakers. That's the only speakers I have in the room. You also will hear instruments popping out from the left, maybe a foot or two in front to the left of the speaker. Same to the right, I hear the drummer three quarters back, you know, uh, in between the singer and the guitarist. And it just creates this stage, this virtual stage in front of you that all good systems should possess. I'll be your torch, your light. looking at high-end audio and you want that high-end sound, to me, these are the best deal on a high-end speaker that I've seen in all of my 25 years of hi-fi. I love these speakers that much. They replaced a speaker that cost eight times, six times as much for me. And I like these a little bit better. That's the amazing part. Um, I'm also running a Cord DAC, a Cord QTest DAC. That DAC comes in at around $16.95, I believe. Uh, and that DAC adds some rhythmic drive to the sound of these speakers. The bass is tremendous on the chord DAC. There's detail without ever being analytical or harsh. Uh, I used to have a PS Audio Direct Stream DAC. Um, and the chord DAC is completely different in its presentation. It has more meat on the bones, a fuller mid-range, uh, more detail and layering. Uh, but the soundstage width is not as wide as the PS Audio. Um, overall, I kind of prefer the cord because of the distinct layering uh, that it has and it, the way it provides detail without ever being thin or harsh. So I have the cord DAC. I have a Technics uh, SL1210GR uh, um, turntable. I have, um, I'm just using a Sonos so I'm not streaming high res, I'm streaming CD quality from streaming services through Spotify into the DAC. Uh, $400 AudioQuest speaker cables, go for the newest ones with the DBS system. 
Uh, and the Dyn Audios are on stand six speaker stands, which is a must. Uh, you must have speaker stands for bookshelf speakers of this caliber because if you don't, you're not gonna hear what they're capable of. So with the V40 tube amp, um, the cord DAC, and just using a Sonos to stream to it, the sound I have in this room is absolutely amazing. And it's almost up there uh, in the magic department, almost, not quite, as when I had a system in here that cost, I'd say, three times to four times as much. That was my crazy days when I went overkill, and that's what led me to realize you don't need to spend that kind of money, and most of you already know that, uh, for high-end audio to get the sound you want. So. 10 stars for the Dyn Audio Special 40. A speaker so good I bought it twice. And um, I just sit down in here and I listen every day. In the morning I come in here with my coffee. I answer email while I have music going. Uh, if I'm working or writing an article, I sit in my spot and I write while I have music playing. Music feeds my soul and music feeds a lot of our souls, right? Music makes me feel good. It energizes me a little bit for the day, depending on what I'm listening to. And sometimes I come in here at midnight and listen to some relaxing music, and it just kind of takes me away from, from the daily you know, worries in life. And that's a part of what makes me so happy. I live a life of positivity, happiness, low stress or no stress uh, most of the time, um, kindness, love, and I attribute a lot of that to music, feeding my soul. It sounds corny, but that's how I feel. Because I have a new amp coming to review from Raven Audio. And the last time I reviewed a Raven amp, I wanted it so bad, I just couldn't afford it. Um, so there'll be some more hi-fi reviews coming to this channel because this channel is just called Steve Huff. It's not called Steve Huff Photo. So I review audio here. I review gadgets here sometimes. I review photo equipment here. But hi-fi is one of my passions, so I just wanted to give a shout out for these Dyn Audio Special 40s because I never uh, did a video on it. And uh, anyone who has up to 3,000 to spend on speakers, if you buy these, you can't go wrong. Just make sure you have a decent amp powering them, like a Best Buy receiver uh, will not work very good for high-end speakers. You want something that's a quality amp. I think the amp I'm using, the Octave, I paid something like $2,700 for and I picked that up also from Dedicated Audio in Scottsdale, Arizona. They have a website, dedicatedaudio.com, and they sell a lot of stuff on Amazon via Prime as well. Uh, highly recommend Dedicated Audio, highly recommend Arizona Hi-Fi uh, as well if you're in the Phoenix area. So that's about it. I wanted to talk a little bit, and I did a lot of talking here. I felt like I was talking 100 miles an hour, actually. So I hope that relayed what I felt about these Dyn Audio Special 40s. I also inserted some uh, B-roll in there so you can see the system. Highly recommend the Dyn Audio Special 40s. Again, I'm running them with a 40 watt tube amp and it's running them um, better than other amps I've tried with them. And you don't need power, you need current. Remember that high quality integrated amp is perfect for these speakers. So there you go. That's my thoughts on the Dyn Audio Special 40s. You can see my written review at stevehuffphoto.com. Click on Hi-Fi and uh, you'll see all of my Hi-Fi reviews. Thank you very much.